All right, <clears throat> problem number three, an instantaneous center problem. This bar is confined to move along the vertical and inclined planes. The velocity of the roller at A is 6 feet per second when theta is equal to 40. So this angle right here is 40 degrees. Um, then determine the bar's angular velocity, state clockwise or counterclockwise, and the magnitude of the velocity of the roller B at this instant using instantaneous center of zero velocity. All right, so <clears throat> this is just one example of an instantaneous center. Be able to find that instantaneous center for lots of other examples. Some, you know, sometimes these are... This is connected to a wheel. This is connected to a link. Um, so look at all those other types. Uh, sorry, but this is <clears throat> um, confined to move along those directions. So my dotted lines, my lines that are perpendicular, are right here. So all right. So where's the inst instantaneous center? Would be right here. All right. So make sure you can find the instant. Don't tell me, hey, the instantaneous center is down here, or right here, or here. <clears throat> that, get that instantaneous center correct, and find <clears throat> RA, find RB. So I like to look at this triangle <clears throat> right here, kind of figure out, okay, what, what do I know about that triangle? I know one side is 5, the other sides, that's what I'm trying to find. What about, what are these angles? Do, do I give me enough information to find those angles? That, you know, if I could find two of them, then the third one would add up to 180. Uh, which one do you see first? I see this one first right here. If this is 40, <clears throat> if that's 40 right there, this is a, a 90 degree angle, then that would be, um, <clears throat> then that would be 50 degrees. Uh, then, okay, let me think about this. Uh, maybe I could do that. If that's 30, uh, maybe I could. All right. Uh, you can do a number of different ways. Maybe pause and see if you can get these angles. But I'm going to look at this blue triangle that has a 40 by, what? what is this, 120, right? It's 40 and 120, which makes this one, 20, which makes this one 70. Did you get that one? Did you get that that was 70 <clears throat> degree angle? And if this is 50, this is 70. Um, 50 plus 70 plus what would equal 180, 60? Yeah. Did you get that? <clears throat> there are a number of ways you could have gotten around to that. Um, sometimes looking at a larger triangle let me show you this one right here some I'll do it in black sometimes maybe looking at this larger triangle knowing that this is 90 uh, and that is 30 due to this uh, incline uh, I think that would have been harder that the way that I did it I don't know is the way I would have done it I guess obviously uh, but <laughs> sometimes there's different ways you got to be able to find all those angles and is this a 90 degree triangle? No, this is not a right triangle. Can't just use sine or cosine or tangent. I've got to use the law of sines, maybe even law of cosine. I don't know if we've done one of those, <clears throat> but got to use law of sines. So <clears throat> how about this one? Sine of 50 over RB, which is the one that I know. This is the one that I know, sine of 60 over 5. Right, sine of 50 over RB equals sine of... All right, so I could get RB 4.42 feet. Um, I could also do sine of 60 over 5 is equal to sine of, what, 70 over RA, and I would get RA 5.43. Make sure those make sense. Does it make sense that the shortest one is RB it is opposite the smallest angle, right? Larger angles open up wider, and so the side opposite a large angle would be a large length. Um, <coughs> so check that those make sense. All right. <clears throat> and now, what is the only equation we use for, the, after you find the R's, what is the only equation we're using for these instantaneous center problems V equals R omega. V equals R omega. V equals R omega. And where do I start? Where do I start? Well, you start with what, which one did we 
uh, were we given? We were given this VA of, over here is 6 feet per second. So let's start with VA. V equals R omega. If I know this is 6, I'll put some units in here. And I know that the distance it is away from its instantaneous center, 5.43. 5.43, then what is the omega of the disc, the omega of bar AB? Omega of bar AB is 1.106 radians per second. This equation will not tell me positive or negative. This equation will not tell me clockwise or counterclockwise. I've got to visualize it myself. A is going down, and it is centered about there, so it is going... Uh, clockwise right here then I'm going to use that and I'm going to jump to VB equals R omega VB equals its R 4.42 times its omega 101 1.106 <clears throat> 4.89 feet per second is the velocity of B is the velocity of B now this one may have been too easy this one may have been too easy. Remember, we, we all those problems where we did V equals R omega, V equals R omega, V equals R omega, and we maybe we started with this and we snaked our way through, ended with this one. <clears throat> you know, maybe this one we were looking at some sort of wheel A, B. These two we were looking at the imaginary disc, maybe B, C. And then this one we were looking at wheel C, D. So, you know, look... Go back and look at those problems that that one's connected to that one that's connected to uh, the wheel. <clears throat> the which which bar do you need to find the instantaneous center for? The the bar that's that's not in pure rotation. This one was obvious. There was no bar, but <clears throat> make sure you're finding the instantaneous center of the correct you know object. <clears throat> that bar in the middle, the bar that's connecting, the bar that's not in pure rotation. Um, and, um, you know, you, maybe you, you were given some information about here, so you use this to find v, VB, then you looked at VB on the disc, then jump from B to C, then you jump from C to CD. Uh, so, you know, this, this was just one example. Uh, many, many others. Don't memorize them. Don't memorize every problem, but know the process. And the but the hardest part of this process is finding those R's because you might have to look at, try to find some angles. What side do I know? <clears throat> if you're lucky, it's a right triangle, but you might have to use law of signs right here. Find those R's and then V equals R omega, V equals R omega, V equals R omega. All right.